This video is supported by CuriosityStream. Space travel has become a very exciting topic in the last years. A few times a month, you read articles like this, you see epic launches and landings like this, and very possibly you watch one of my videos talking about space technology. Virgin Galactic is one of the most recent company that made it to the news successfully performing human spaceflight. Whether or not Virgin Galactic is a, is a worthy competitor of the space industry is still under debate, but every time it comes up, I see articles comparing SpaceX with Blue Origin and with Virgin Galactic. But as an engineer myself, who has been following space technology for a long time, I can't help but feel the sense of disconnect because I know those three companies are approaching human spaceflight in three very different ways, which will lead to three very different outcomes. So today, let's end the debate once and for all. Let's talk about space tourism. The reason why I say space tourism instead of space travel is that I don't think there is anything to compare if we're talking about space launches. Among them, SpaceX is the only company that can send anything to orbit right now. So for the sake of comparison, we have to limit our scope so that the thesis of the video makes sense. So in terms of space tourism, these three companies adopted three very different strategic directions. SpaceX offers the most conventional type of space travel services. As someone who pays for the service, you get to travel around the moon and come back over a few days time. With SpaceX capability, it is also possible that it would take someone to the International Space Station to spend a few days there. And finally, SpaceX also proposed an on-Earth transportation rivaling commercial long-haul trips. Among all three companies, SpaceX is no doubt the most capable company with the most experience in space transportation, and the option for space tourism is also a little bit more. Then it comes to Blue Origin. With Blue Origin, you're still sent to space with a rocket, namely the new Shepard, but you would only stay in space for a short while. Once you reach space, the bottom stage of the new Shepard will separate and you land with a parachute. This is for Blue Origin. Lastly, the Virgin Galactic approach is what I call a rocket-powered aeroplane approach. You still reach space, according to the American definition, but not with a full-fledged rocket. The vehicle that takes you to space is at its core still an aircraft. Nevertheless, as a passenger, you will still experience space most humans don't have a chance to. This naturally leads me to discussing their engineering capabilities, which is the fundamental differences between their choices of carrying out space tourism. To put it very simply, on a scale of engineering, SpaceX is far ahead of Blue Origin, and Blue Origin is even further ahead of Virgin Galactic. And that is why you've got a more diverse space travel possibility with SpaceX. Look, I'm not saying SpaceX is better, it's just a statement of fact. All three companies use rocket engines to power their vehicle, but the power differences are apparent. Here we compare the SpaceX Falcon 9 to Blue Origin's New Shepard and Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2, all of which have demonstrated their capabilities. Putting them side by side, they look something like this. Not only is SpaceX Falcon 9 a bigger vehicle, the thrust generated is also much higher. Falcon 9 generates 1,800,000 pound thrust, whereas the other vehicles generates only 110,000 and 60,000 pound thrust each. Therefore, it's not hard to see that SpaceX is more powerful in this regard. It should also be noted that 1.8 million pound thrust is generated by nine Merlin engines. So each engine generates around 200,000 pound thrust, which is not the most powerful engines we have ever built and Blue Origin is working on its new BE-4 engine, which is more than twice as powerful as Merlin engines. However, the nimbleness of Merlin engine did give SpaceX better control at landing, so it's more complex to compare the future of these companies. But presently, the consensus is that SpaceX is far ahead of both Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic in terms of their vehicle capability. Then I want to briefly touch on the engineering difficulties these three companies have overcome. All three companies worked on their own engines. I think this is the single most admirable trait. Their capability of making flight-proven engines will become a great technical advantage in their future development. However, Virgin Galactic's hybrid engine approach has shown to be the most unstable in the past years, resulted in failures, whereas SpaceX and Blue Origin both have excellent records with their engines. Finally, the most interesting differences of these companies came from their founders, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, 
and of course Sir Richard Branson. All of them are visionary entrepreneurs who had a dream for space exploration, but they came from very different positions. Elon Musk has an engineering background. Jeff Bezos is a businessman, and Richard Branson, in my opinion, is an adventurer and an artist. This is a generalization of who they are, but it does show us why these three companies and their vehicles differ. SpaceX focuses on achieving greater and greater engineering heights, making more capable vehicles, performing more impressive launches. Blue Origin, on the other hand, focuses on building industry relations and making the business work before taking larger steps. This is apparent in its business development approach. Blue Origin focuses more on selling their engines than making new Glenn, the next generation rocket. Lastly, Sir Richard Branson focuses on the adventure rather than the business or the engineering. That's why most of Virgin Galactic's manufacturing and R&D are not performed in-house. It's headed by a joint venture between Virgin Group and Scale Composites, an American aerospace company. Truth be told, space tourism is still very far away, and even if it become a reality, it will still cost us a fortune, and most of us will not be able to afford it. But regardless of the outcome. The intention has always been pure, exploring the outer space with the utmost bravery and a sense of adventure. Three entrepreneurs, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Sir Richard Branson, have chosen three very different ways to approach it, and I say good luck to all of them, because I know they're entrepreneurs who are helping us explore the boundaries of humanity. Personally, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos' approach appeals to my likings a little bit more. But do let me know in the comment down below which company services would you choose if you were given the opportunity to explore the outer space. I'll see you there. Since we're talking about space tourism, I want to recommend to you our sponsor of today, Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,000 documentaries, including exclusive originals from some of the world's best filmmakers. Today. Why not start with Destination Moon, a documentary that focuses on our moon and how it could play an important role in our future space explorations? Curiosity Stream has an entire section focused on space, so I'm sure you have a great time exploring our solar system with their award-winning documentaries. Curiosity Stream offered our audiences a 31-day free trial, so sign up with the link in the description down below with the code Curious Elephant. Once your free trial is up, they charge $19.99 a year, which is only $1.67 a month. So start binge watching and explore our solar system today with Curiosity Stream. So there's a very interesting case for the hybrid motors that are used in Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two. Um, it's not the case that the hybrid motors are somehow inferior to the liquid motors that are used in uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 or uh, Blue Origin's uh, New Glenn or New Shepard, but that this technology is less tested and less developed. I'll leave a link to the most comprehensive paper I can find online down below that explains hybrid motors, hybrid rockets. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.